Howdy, I'm Cordless, and today I'm going to walk you through using the XKCD Vision application, which is hosted on LucidWorks Labs. We design labs to allow users to start and explore various applications which they are looking at for search. If you happen to find this video useful and like it, be sure and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Well, without further ado, I'm going to start up one of these XKCD Vision applications on Fusion. This is a Fusion instance which will be launched on our Google Cloud account. In fact, it was already launched. It was launched about 46 minutes ago or so. And uh, it was just sitting here ready and raring to go. So I'm gonna click here to copy the password. It gives you a little notification down there that the password's been copied. And then I'm gonna click on the Fusion Admin link. And what we're going to be doing is indexing the XKCD webcomic. Uh, XKCD is a webcomic of romance, sarcasm, math, and language, and it is by Randall Monroe. If you've never seen it before, be sure and check it out. It's uh, quite good. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is click on this little double arrow down here inside the Fusion UI. And I'm going to go to Data Sources, XKCD. And then I'm going to note in here that the XKCD website is entered into the start link. And then I'm going to open up the limit documents and you can see that I'm limiting to 200 documents total. So the crawler is just going to go out and it's going to find 200 documents on XKCD that match a particular regular expression. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the index pipeline. I'm going to click on XKCD vision and you can see a couple of um, stages here for the index pipeline one of which includes extracting the comic link uh, using some JavaScript. We're actually going to see this JavaScript fail here in just a second, and uh, I'll kind of explain that when it does. And then the Google Vision part of this, which makes a REST call for every page that matches that regular expression that we find, and for which the comic link was extracted, it's going to take that image and pass it over to Google Vision. Now, a little note about Google Vision, you do have to enable it in your Google Cloud Platform dashboard. So you're going to go over to the API libraries and search for Google Vision. When that shows up, you're going to click on it and you're going to click on Enable. And it's going to enable that API for your cloud account. And then you're going to click on credentials and you're going to create a new key and you're going to restrict it to the Cloud Vision API. It's very important that you do that but so that you keep your, your API key secure. So be sure and restrict it to your Cloud Vision API. I am not going to show that process because I have keys in here. So I'm going to go configure that now and I'll meet you back in the Fusion UI. Okay, now I'm back from copying that key. I'm going to go ahead and paste it in here. I'm going to click on save in here after pasting it in there and then I'm going to go back to data sources and I'm going to open the XKCD data source and I'm going to clear the data source and then I'm going to click on run and I'm going to click on start and I'm going to click on save just because that's a good thing to always do and then I'm going to go over to query workbench and I'm going to do a little search and there's some fields coming in and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this display field to be the URL, the image URL. And if you'll recall I said earlier that it was going to break and it actually does break here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate over to this XKCD comic page and we're going to view the page source. And the reason I'm doing this is because I feel like whenever I do these videos we, are, we should always learn something from what uh, we're experiencing. So what we're playing with, in this case this application, we could also learn something from it. And so it was not able to extract the URL and the reason why is because what we actually do in the JavaScript that I showed you earlier is look for this div. So we look for the div named comic with the ID comic and then we actually look immediately inside of that div for an image tag. Well unfortunately in this particular one all of these comics are laid out by Randall. 
uh, differently. And so in this one, it happened to be that the entire comic was a link. So this entire image is now clickable and I can click on it and it takes, it takes me to another comic. So that was really the problem. That's why we didn't extract it inside Fusion. So I'd have to do a little bit of JavaScript programming to be able to handle that exception. I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'm gonna go ahead and go in and show you the UI now. So I'm gonna go back to the dashboard for the instance and I'm gonna click on this application link up here at the top. And that's gonna take me into the application view. Now a couple things to note is, uh, well, there's another missing image. So again, we'd have to go in and try to figure out why, why the, uh, that's missing. This application is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. But you'll notice here that we have some GV values over here in the, in the form of facets. And these facets are actually coming in from, you'll see here Randall Monroe, they're coming in from that Google Vision API call. So what's happening is we're taking this image, the image itself, and passing it to Google, and Google's returning what it knows about these to us. And those include uh, some labels, uh, for example, what it thinks is inside of it, some related web entities, which are obviously there's a lot of them here, and Google does include the URLs to be able to link out to those different web entities. We're not including that in the UI in this particular example. And then some other things like racy, adult, and violence, because why not? So if you, we look in here, uh, let's just scroll down and pick one of these at random, and we're gonna look for the word crowdsource. So I'm gonna type that in, crowdsource. And there is that comic returned because we did a search for it. Remember, again, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and be sure and hit us up on YouTube or Twitter if you have any questions. Take care and have a great day. Cordless out. I can't give you up.